Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today we're going to be talking about food. So, Mari, what's your favorite cuisine? I think I like American food. What type of American food? I like hamburgers. Hamburgers. Is that your favorite dish as well? That is my favorite dish.、Um, my favorite hamburger place is right near where I went to university. And、um, they have this hamburger called the Danish burger. And the Danish burger has blue cheese inside the hamburger. So I love my favorite dish has to be the Danish burger. Do you like any side things like french fries with your hamburger? I love french fries, but I know that eating hamburger and french fries is a little bit unhealthy. So I always replace the hamburger. The French fries for a salad. A salad. Okay. What about desserts? What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert has to be chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Anything else? Do you like to eat it with anything? No, I, I like chocolate cake by itself.、Um, anything else? I like brownie sundaes, like brownies, and brownies with.、Um, Vanilla ice cream. I guess my favorite dessert is anything chocolatey. Sounds good. So, before you said you like to eat a salad, what type of salad, what type of vegetables do you like? I like all vegetables. I like them cooked or raw,、um, but I don't like raw onions. Not raw onions. I really can't eat onions raw. That's probably the only vegetable I can't eat raw. Mm, that's interesting. Thanks, Mari. So, Miss Naomi from where is it you're from? Wales. Wales, okay. So, and how old are you now? I'm 11. 11, okay. So, that means you are in what would that be? Junior school? Secondary school?、Uh, junior school. Junior school, okay. And、um, so, what grade is that in junior school? Six. Oh, grade six, okay. So,、um, okay, tell me about your school. What kind of subjects do you study in junior school? We study art and maths and science and English and geography and history and RE. RE? What, what's RE? Religious education. Ah, okay. And、uh, so you go to school from what time in the morning? About. Quarter to nine, and it starts at five past. The first class is at five、yes. past. And then,、um, do you get a break? We get a break at half past ten, and then lunch at twelve o'clock. Twelve, oh, twelve o'clock for how long? For an hour. An hour? Oh, nice. And then, what, what do you do for lunch in, in Wales? Do, you, do, you have, do they have like a cafeteria where they cook for you? Or? Yeah, they have that, and you can bring sandwiches. Oh, you can bring your own sandwiches instead? Yeah. Okay. Have, what do you do? I normally bring sandwiches. Okay. Oh, is that because the dinners are no good? or? They're okay, but I don't really like them as much as sandwiches. Oh, okay. And what, what kind of food do they, do they serve up in the, in the canteen?、And、they serve roast dinners. And roast dinners? Yeah. What's a roast dinner? It's like a meat and vegetables. Okay. Okay. Sounds very simple. <laughs> yeah. And pizza and chips and.、Um, Ham and all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, it sounds good. And do they give you lots of homework? No. Oh, really? No. Oh, that's good to hear. So, what's your favourite subject then in, in junior school? Art. Art? Yeah. Okay, why is that? I don't know. I just like、um, painting and drawing. Okay. And then, what's the, what's the subject that you find most boring? Maths. Maths?、Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of maths. <laughs> So, I guess、uh, if you're in grade six, you'll be going on to your next school soon? Yeah, secondary school. Okay. And、uh, are you looking forward to that? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, well, it's very nice talking to you and good luck in your next school. <laughs> so, Naomi,、uh, so you're from Wales and you're 11. So, what does an, an 11 year old girl do for fun in Wales? I do music. I play the piano and the violin. Okay, how long have you played the piano for?、Um, 
since I was about eight. At uh, eight. And th- what about the violin? Um, about the same. Okay. And what kind of level are you at now then, at the piano? Um, I'm on, I just passed my grade three. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so that's grade three of, what is that? Of, um, you have different levels. And okay. Yeah. And it starts at grade one. One. And it gets harder. Up till, what's the, what's the highest um, grade you can get? Grade eight. Oh, grade eight. So you're grade three now. Yeah. So you, I guess the next one you're going to do is grade four. Yes. Okay. And so what do you have to do? What kind of test is it? It's, um, you learn three pieces. Three pieces of music. Yeah. Right. And um, you have to um, play them and you have to do um, some singing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And some... Is that like sight reading? You look at the the script and you have to sing the notes or um, no somebody um, plays a tune for you and you have to sing it the exactly the same tune that they played and oh, wow. this sight reading where you have to um, look at a page and then play it on the piano oh wow is that hard yeah yeah I can imagine so how often how much do you practice the piano then um, it probably should be once a week uh, once a day yeah but I normally do it um, three times a week about well, that. Okay. And you enjoy it then? Yeah. Okay. Great. And you play the violin too? Yeah. Yeah. And is that fun? Sort of. <laughs> it's not as fun as the piano. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And how do you do any other things in your spare time? Uh, I do um, guides and swimming. Guides? Yeah. What's guides? It's like um, a group of girls and they do activities and everything and they meet each week. Yeah. To do activities. Okay. Like, what kind of activities do you do? Well, you can go, you go camping sometimes. Yeah. And you just do um, uh, activities, like, um, sometimes you do sports and outside activities and lots of things. Okay. Oh, is it like, kind of like the Cub Scouts for yes. the boys? Okay. So, you have to wear a uniform? Um. Yes. Okay. What, can you explain the uniform for me? It's sort of, it's dark blue. And you can either wear jeans or joggers or these um, trousers. Joggers? Yeah. What are joggers? The trousers that you wear for sports. Oh, for like jogging? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, sounds like you have you do a lot of fun things in your spare time. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's very nice to talk to you and good luck with your piano and your violin. Thank you. So, Naomi, uh, so you're from Wales. And you're 11. So what does an an 11-year-old girl do for fun in Wales? I do music. I play the piano and the violin. All right. And I play um, sports, netball. Netball? uh, Yeah. What's that? It's like a basketball a bit. Yeah. um, Mostly girls play it. And um, you have have, um, two teams... And you have to try and get the ball in each other's nets. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just like basketball. You bounce yeah. it around. Well, you can. You don't really bounce it that much. You can only bounce it once. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. And you play it indoors then? or? Yeah, mostly indoors. In the summer, sometimes outdoors. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, so you can only bounce it once? Yeah, there's three different passes you can do. But... Um, one is you use a bounce called bounce pass, okay. and you can only um, use a bounce once. Okay, to pass it to your teammate. Yeah. Okay, and what are the other passes? Um, there's chest pass. And what's that? It's just sort of a straight pass from chest to the other person's chest. Okay. And um, shoulder pass, which is a sort of lob. Like a lob, you throw it over yeah. your shoulder, kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So. It's just, well, like basketball, then somebody throws it in the net, and then how many points do you get? Um, it's a one point for every net, every um, ball that you get in the net. Oh, okay. And how long is a game of netball? Um, probably about an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, half an hour each side, or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm. And how many people are there on a team? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay, nice. Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. 
Today we're going to be talking about entertainment and how often we do these things. So Mari, how often do you watch TV? I watch the news in the morning, and when I come home at night, I sometimes watch um, TV. Do you have a favorite <laughs> TV show? I don't have a favorite TV show. Okay. <laughs> How often do you go to the movies? I really like going to the movies. Um, I think I go maybe once a month or once every two months. And other than that, do you rent movies? I No, I don't rent movies, but sometimes I download movies. Um, I like to watch comedies, romantic comedies, and a little bit of drama. Which which is your favorite movie you watched recently? My favorite movie, or I don't know if it was my favorite movie, but a movie that I watched recently is called 27 Dresses. It is about a girl or a woman who was bridesmaid 27 times. And that's a romantic comedy? It is. What about reading? Do you like to read books? I do like to read books. Um, right now, I'm really busy with, with work, so I don't have a lot of time to read. But when I'm on vacation or whenever I have free time, I like to read books. What kind of books? Um, I like to read nonfiction, usually. Um, like biographies of people. And I also like to read about um, like teaching practices so that I could become a better teacher and um, a little bit of fiction. And what about concerts? Do you enjoy going to concerts? I don't go to music concerts. Um, I don't think I've ever been to one, actually. But I like to go see musicals. And I also like to go to sporting events. Hi, this is Mari. I'm here with Ron. Today we'll talk about types of entertainment and how often we do these things. Let's first start with watching TV. Ron, how often do you watch TV? Usually I watch TV every day. I don't watch TV very long, but I usually watch TV every day. Usually I watch the news. Why just the news? I like to know what's going on in the world, so I usually watch CNN or BBC. And that's it? Nothing else? Usually, yes. Usually. Other than that, sometimes I'll watch sporting events, such as baseball or football. But that's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next. Do you go to the movies? How often do you go to the movies? I don't go to the movies very often. Maybe twice a year, I would say. That's it? Yeah. Do you rent movies? I rent movies more than I go to the cinema, but also not very often. What kind of movies do you like? I like funny movies, comedies. Comedies. Uh, what's the most recent movie you watched? I watched Home Alone last night, but it was on TV. I didn't rent the movie. Okay. Uh, how often do you read books? I don't like <laughs> reading, so I don't read books very often. The only time I do read books is for school purposes. What kind of books do you read for school? Well, my major is international relations, so usually I read international relations books, if I have to read. If you have to read. So nothing, no books for pleasure. Not for entertainment. So when you're on the airplane, you don't read? No, okay. I try to watch the movies on the airplane. Okay. Uh, how often do you go to concerts? I go to concerts once in a while. Um, in Hawaii, there aren't many concerts, so when there are concerts, I try to go. What do you go see, or what type of concerts? I like Hawaiian music, so I go to Hawaiian concerts. And if a big star from America comes, I usually try to go 
also. So music concerts. Right, music concerts. Okay, Ron, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today we'll be talking about abilities. So Mari, are you a good cook? I like to cook. Um, more specifically, I like to cook for people. I like to have people over and eat with people. I don't really like to eat alone, so I don't like to cook for myself. I like to cook for other people. Um, but more than cooking, I like to bake. Baking? What do you like to bake? Cookies and brownies and cake. That sounds very good. I would like to eat one of your brownies. <laughs> okay, next. Um, are you a good singer? I am terrible at singing. I don't like going to karaoke, and I don't like to sing. I like music, but I can't sing for my life. Um, I Yesterday, or I guess in class, it was a student's birthday, and I made my students sing happy birthday, but they wouldn't start. So I had to start them off singing, and my voice was so bad that they started laughing at me. So I'm just a terrible singer. That's funny. Okay, next. Are you a good dancer? No, I'm not a good dancer. I can't dance at all. I used to, when I was younger, my parents enrolled me in ballet classes, so I did ballet for like six years, but I am not very good at dancing. So you're a teacher now, right? So were you a good student when you were a student? I was a good student because um, cause I'm a dork. No, um, yeah, I think I was a good student. I tried hard in all of my classes. I always did my homework. I was always focused and took notes during class. Um, if I didn't understand something, I would either ask questions in class or speak to the teacher or professor after class. Um, I always really liked learning, and so I think that's why I was a really good student. And athletics. Were you a good athlete, and are you a good athlete now? That's a tricky question. Um, I like sports, and I like playing sports. I, 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 am, I don't think I'm a very good athlete, probably compared to you. I'm probably not but I really enjoy playing sports. Um, in high school, I played soccer. I ran cross country. Um, I played ice hockey and a little bit of lacrosse. And which one was your favorite sport? My favorite sport was ice hockey. I'm Mari from Japan. I'm here with Ron from Hawaii. Today, we're going to be talking about abilities. So let's start with food. Can you cook? I can't cook well, but I do cook. So I think the reason why I can't cook well is because I can eat anything. So I don't try very hard to make it taste good. What do you like to cook? I like to barbecue outside on the grill. What do you put on your barbecue? When I cook meat, I don't put much. Only salt, pepper and a little bit of seasoning. Okay, good. Uh, next, do you think you're a good dancer? No, I don't think I'm a good dancer and I don't really try to be a good dancer either. Do you not like to dance? I don't like to dance. At all? Right. Um, I heard that you're a good line dancer. I would like to learn how to line dance, and I do like country music, but I haven't officially been taught how to line dance. So you don't dance at all? No. Okay. Next, um, are you a good singer? No, I'm not a good singer, but I do enjoy going to karaoke. What do you like to sing? In Hawaii, when I go to karaoke, I enjoy singing Hawaiian music. If I'm in Japan... I like to sing other English songs that they have, usually country music or 80s or 90s music. 
Good. That's good. Um, do you think you're a good student? I don't know if I'm a good student. Growing up, I was not a good student, but now I am trying harder to be a good student. How were you not a good student growing up? I didn't enjoy going to school, and I didn't try very hard in school. Now I try a little harder. I make an effort. Can you talk more about your effort? What do you do to try to be a good student? I try to listen to the teachers now instead of doing my own thing, and I try to complete everything with good quality. That's good. And last, do you think that you're a good athlete? Growing up, I was a good athlete. I played uh, a few sports. Um, now I don't play any sports anymore because I'm old. But growing up, I think I was a good athlete. What sports did you play? I played American football, baseball, and soccer. Which one is your best sport? I would say football. American football is my best sport. How long did you play? I played um, since I was 11 until age 22. So for 11 years. Yeah. And you played when you were in university? I played at the University of Hawaii. So, after Laos, where did you go? After Laos, I flew to Vietnam. And actually, I took the bus into Vietnam. Okay. Yes. And in Vietnam, I traveled from the north, from Hanoi, to Ho Chi Minh City. But because my time was so short... I could only spend one or two days in each city. Uh, what city did you like the most? I think I prefer Hanoi the most. The food, the street food is amazing. It's a very lively city. Lots of motorcycles and traffic. So it, it's reminded me of Nigeria, where I was born a little bit. Oh, cool. Yes. And what did you do in Vietnam? I spent time in Hanoi. I also went to visit Sapa, which has a lot of rice terraces. So these are mountains where they've planted rice fields. So the scenery, the view is really beautiful. And you also get to meet the native peoples, the local peoples there. So I enjoyed it. And then from there, I went to Hoi An, which is a very historical city. Very beautiful um, night scenery by the river. And then I went to Ho Chi Minh City, but I could only spend one night there before leaving for Myanmar. Okay. And then how was Myanmar? What did you do there? Myanmar was my last stop and I didn't have so much time there but I managed to go but I managed to visit some of the places I really wanted to see like Yangon, Bagan and Mandalay. Man I would say that Bagan was the highlight. They had many temples from the past and just seeing that many of them it was very impressive oh that's fantastic yes so what country was your favorite it's hard to say they each have their own good points but i think i would definitely like to visit thailand again <laughs> oh, okay Thailand, such a great place. Anyway, thanks, Abidemi. Thank you, Todd. Abidemi, what did you do for summer break? For summer break, I went to visit some countries in Asia. 
Ooh, what countries? I visited Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Myanmar. Oh, great. What did you do in each country? In Thailand, I was there for about a week. I ate a lot of delicious food and I met many nice people. I love Thailand, so I hope to return again. What foods did you eat? I don't remember the names, but I just remember that they were all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thai food is so good. Yes. Um, did you go anywhere in Thailand, like the beach or the forest? I was more interested in nature, so I traveled from Bangkok to Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, and I went trekking and rode elephants, so that was one of the highlights of my trips. Oh, nice. How long was the trek? The trek was about a day. It was a trek for two, three hours, but then we also stayed overnight in a community in the hills and then the next day we trekked for a little bit to come back to the city nice so was thailand the first stop yes it was my first stop it was supposed to be the shortest stop but i loved it so much that i spent more time there after thailand where did you go from thailand I moved on by land to Laos. And what did you do in Laos? In Laos, I mainly was in the northern part of the country, and I went zip line. line. Ooh, fun. It was fun. So, so zip lining is going flying from tree to tree. That's correct. So that was about two days worth of uh, zip lining and we stayed overnight in a big tree house oh how fun it was quite nice I really enjoyed it hey Todd can I ask you a favor sure anytime um, I really need a place to stay uh huh. And I heard that your house is on Airbnb. It is on Airbnb. I do rent my house, but for you, it's free. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Can I stay there then? You can. How long? Maybe a week or two weeks. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, from next Monday. Yeah, actually, you can do that. That that works. Excellent. Thank you so much. How about ah? Uh, how about a car? Can I park my car? Ah, uh, that's a problem. You can't park your car because there's no space. But there is a cheap parking lot about maybe two blocks away. Okay. So it's only a couple dollars a day. Okay. I guess I can park my car there. How about cooking there? Can I cook? Of course. Yeah, you can cook. I have a stove, a refrigerator. You can bring your own food. You can do whatever you want. Excellent. Thank you. Can I use the internet? You can use the internet. Um, there's a password. I will write down the password before I leave. And um, I will write down the password before you get there. Excellent. Thank you so much. I was thinking about asking my friend if he can stay. Could my friend stay over? Yeah, sure. So your friend can stay. Um, not a problem, I don't think. He has a dog. Can he bring his dog? Ooh, that is a problem. Uh, does the dog have a cage? Um, no, but we can get a cage. Mm, I'm not sure about the dog. If the dog is in a cage, it's okay in the house, but I think, yeah, you can't have the dog in the house. Okay. How about smoking? Mm -hmm. My friend is a very heavy smoker. Can he smoke outside? Yeah, he can smoke outside. Just please pick up cigarette butts, but of course he can't smoke inside. Okay, he can't smoke inside? No. Okay. How about if we want to have a party? Can we have a party? Yeah, you can have a party. That's okay, but please be quiet. Don't be too loud. 
Um, the neighbors live very close to my house. All right, that sounds good. Thanks. And I have one more question. Uh huh. Can I use the washing machine? Yeah, of course. You can use anything. You can use the washing machine.、Um, you can use the internet. You can use the TV. You can use anything you like. Wow, excellent! That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I am.、Um, I will write down directions for my house, and I will send you a map, and you can check it out and get all the information. And just、um, I will leave the key for you with my neighbor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. So Meg, are you busy this weekend? Yes, I'm so busy because I'm moving. Oh no! Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. What do you have to do? First, I have to prepare my apartment. So I need to pack all of my things. That's not fun. No, it takes a long time. Do you need help? Yeah. Do you have time to help me? I can help you on Sunday. Oh, are you busy on Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday I have to work.、Uh-huh. I have to teach two classes, and then after I teach, I have to grade papers. Um,、uh, it sounds like you're really busy too. Yeah. Plus, I have to meet my friends that evening. Oh, what I- will you do with your friends? I'm helping my friend also. My friend has car problems, so I have to take him to the mechanic. Ah.、Uh, But on Sunday, I can help you. Okay, that would be great because on Sunday, I have to take some trash to the dump, and I have to finish some paperwork at City Hall. To prepare for moving to a new country. Oh, now because you're moving, do you have to go to the post office? I do have to go to the post office. I almost forgot. At the post office, I have to submit a form to say my new address. Ah, that's good because I have to go to the post office too. Oh really? I have to send my mom's birthday gift to her. When is your mom's birthday? It was one month ago. Ah, so you have to send it quickly. Yes, I have to get on it. Okay, well let's go together. So I'll see you Sunday. What time should I be here? I have to go to City Hall by three p.m. So can you come at two? Okay, but if you want to go to the dump, the dump closes at noon, so we have to leave earlier. Ah,、uh, okay. Can you come at eleven? Yes. Okay, so I will see you at eleven o'clock. Great. See you then. Bye. Bye. Okay, Katie. Yeah. Let's take an international test. Oh, okay. How international are you? Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, first, have you ever eaten Greek food? Greek food. Ah,、uh, I've eaten. How do you say it? Fafalo. Oh, is that Greek? I think so. Okay. I've had that, but apart from that, I've never eaten Greek food. Okay.、Have、how you, about you? Have you? Ah,、uh, I think I have. Well, I. I've eaten Greek yogurt. Does that, that count? That counts. That counts. That counts. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever eaten Russian food?、Mm, what's Russian food? I think like Russian food. Like, is it borscht? Borscht is like a soup, a cabbage soup.、Mm, I've I've never eaten Russian food. Yeah, maybe I haven't eaten Russian food either.、Mm. Mm. Okay. Last one. Have you ever eaten Vietnamese food? Ah,、uh, I I see it written down. It's is it pho? Pho, the noodles. Yeah, I've eaten pho before. Yeah, I've been to Vietnam, so I've eaten Vietnamese food a lot. And pho, the noodles, is really good. It's yeah, it's delicious. I've had that too. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about languages.、Oh, okay. Have you ever studied French? I have. I've studied French for five years. Ooh, can you still speak French? Nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah, me too. I. <laughs> 
I once studied French years ago, but I haven't spoken French in so long.、Mm. I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything either. Yeah. Have you ever studied an Asian language? Um, I've studied Japanese. Ooh, okay. I can still speak it a little bit now, and I studied a little bit of Korean, but I don't speak Korean. Oh, really?、Mm. Okay. Wow. Like, I've studied、uh, Thai. Okay. Because I lived in Thailand for five years, and like you, I've studied Japanese, but my Japanese is terrible. How about your Thai? My Thai is okay.、Uh, it's okay. I can talk a little bit. Okay, so have you ever met a Spanish person? A Spanish person? Actually, I don't think I have. Really? I don't think I have met a Spanish person. Oh, interesting. I've been to Spain, so I've met a few, and we have a Spanish teacher at my school. Oh, maybe I have met a Spanish person then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe、okay. I've met a secret Spanish person. Okay, have you met a? Chinese person. Oh yes, I've met lots of Chinese people. Okay, and have you met a Brazilian person? I feel like if I say no, then I have. Probably, I've probably met a Brazilian person. Yeah, I've met a few people from Brazil, so they're always very nice,、mm. very friendly people.、Mm. Hey, Todd, are you healthy? Do you eat lots of fruits and vegetables? I guess I am healthy. I do eat lots of fruits and vegetables,、uh, but I also eat junk food, sadly. But I try to eat lots of fruits, especially、mm-hmm. to stay healthy. What kind of fruits do you like to eat? Well, I like all fruits. I love all fruits except pineapple.、Mm-hmm. I hate pineapple. I don't know why. I just don't like pineapple. I don't like the taste. I don't like to chew it. It just feels funny. Uh, but I love apples. I love bananas. I love oranges. I usually have an apple every morning for breakfast. It's very easy to eat, and I just love apples because you can take them to school. You can eat them quickly. They're very easy to eat.、Uh, I also like oranges, and I love orange juice. So sometimes I make fresh orange juice in my、mm-hmm. kitchen. So oranges are great, but my favorite fruits are bananas and strawberries. I love bananas and strawberries, and I love to eat bananas and strawberries together. So my favorite snack is to cut up some banana and then cut up some strawberry, and mix them together and then eat them. Well, it sounds like you really like a lot of fruits. Oh yeah, I do. What about vegetables? Do you eat vegetables every day? I do. I try to have a salad every day, and I have a special salad I make, and I call it my、uh, chunky, crunchy salad. And it's carrots, cucumbers, and tomatoes. And、mm. I cut the carrots and cucumbers into small little squares, and then I cut up the tomatoes and I mix them together. And the carrots, tomatoes, and cucumbers mixed together. The colors are really pretty, and when you eat the salad, it's very crunchy, and it's very chunky because it's all little squares. So I call it my crunchy, chunky salad. Oh, that sounds delicious! Do you ever share it with someone else? No, I don't. But I want to because I really I like it so much, and I can't cook. So when I go to somebody's house and I need to bring food. I think, oh, I should bring chunky, crunchy salad.、Mm, that's a good idea. Another idea is to cook some vegetables. Do you cook vegetables? Not too much. I do cook asparagus. Asparagus is probably my favorite vegetable, and it's very easy to cook because asparagus you just have to cut up into small pieces, and then you can put the asparagus in a bowl with some water in the microwave. And you can cook asparagus in about thirty seconds.、Mm-hmm. So I eat asparagus a lot. Also, I eat broccoli. I love broccoli. Sometimes I have broccoli and lettuce together for my salad, and then sometimes I cook eggplant. I like to cook eggplant because I like the taste and it's easy to cook.、Mm, I don't really like eggplant. Really? I don't. <laughs> oh no! Why not?、Mm. It has a strange flavor to me. 
So I prefer not to eat eggplant. Well, as long as you eat your veggies. Mm, yes. So Meg, you look like a healthy person. Do you eat lots of fruits and vegetables? I do eat lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, especially fruit. I love to eat fruit because it's so sweet. Yeah? What fruits do you like? I love bananas because they're so healthy for you. And so usually in the morning for breakfast, I'll have a banana. I also love blueberries. Blueberries are my favorite fruit. Uh, but sometimes they're expensive, so I can't often eat blueberries. Oh, I agree. Blueberries are so good. I love blueberries in oatmeal. Ah, that's a good idea. I love to have blueberries in muffins. Oh, that's nice. Well, mm. you bake. Do you bake blueberry muffins? I do bake blueberry muffins and also blueberry bread, blueberry pancakes, many blueberry things. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm. So, are there any fruits you don't like? I don't like kiwi, actually, because the flavor is okay, but the fruit is too soft. So, usually I don't want to eat kiwi. Oh, wow. I love kiwi. I love kiwi and, kiwi and bananas. Mm, it's very good. Mm, sounds okay, but maybe I'll just have the banana. So, what about vegetables? Um, are you... A person who eats lots of salad? Um, I don't eat a lot of salad, but I do like to eat vegetables with my meals, usually lunch and dinner. So you cook vegetables? I cook vegetables or I eat vegetables fresh. For example, usually with my lunch, I'll cut up a cucumber and put some uh, salt or pepper on the cucumber and eat it with my lunch. Oh, great. I love uh, vegetable sticks. So mm. I love carrot sticks, cucumber sticks, mm. radish sticks. It's very good. Do you like to dip uh, vegetable sticks into any dressing? I do, but it's not healthy, right? <laughs> but no. yeah, I love the dressing, <laughs> like the ranch dressing with carrot sticks mm. or the ranch dressing with cucumber sticks. It's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty delicious, but you're right. Not so healthy. No. Mm. So what vegetables do you cook? Sometimes I cook broccoli. I actually like to roast broccoli, which is when you put broccoli into the oven and cook it for a few minutes. Um, so it's really delicious. You can add some salt or seasonings, and it's easy to make. You can cook some meat or rice while the broccoli is in the oven, and then it's ready for your dinner. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you see some vegetables, uh, like on a kebab, that mm. are roasted. I guess onions are roasted. Peppers right. are roasted. Do right. you roast other vegetables besides broccoli? Mm. Sometimes tomatoes and uh, sometimes potatoes. Although, is that a vegetable? It is, but it's not a very healthy vegetable. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't eat potatoes. <laughs> oh, I love potatoes though. Um, so, you roast vegetables. Do you cook vegetables any other way? Do you boil vegetables or fry vegetables? Sometimes I boil vegetables. For example, I like to boil carrots because they're soft and you can add some spices again to have some flavor when you eat carrots with your meal. Yeah. Actually, I love carrots, but I only like raw carrots. Oh, really? And I hate cooked carrots. Oh, well, I'll try to remember that if you ever come over for dinner. Yeah, carrot sticks, please. Okay. <laughs> so, Meg, we are talking about animals. Uh, do you like to go to the zoo? I love to go to the zoo. Okay, so when you go to the zoo, what animals do you like to watch? I really like to watch giraffes. Giraffes are so tall, and giraffes look really soft and friendly. So I wish that I could touch a giraffe someday. Oh, that's so true. There is a zoo near my house in California, and you can walk up some stairs, and then you can feed the giraffes, and their face is the same height as your face. And they look really, really cute. And yeah, giraffes are great. Oh, giraffes are so cute. Maybe someday I can feed the giraffes. I like how giraffes look. I love their face. And I also love camels also, because mm. I think camels have a similar face. They look really cool. I don't 
don't think camels are very cute. Really? Yeah, they're so hairy. Uh, camels have so much hair that they look ugly. Oh, really? Oh, I like camels. They always look cool and relaxed. Mm, they do look relaxed, but I like giraffes better than camels. Well, what about llamas? Llamas are kind of like camels and are kind of like giraffes. They kind of have the same face. Do you like llamas? I think llamas look cute, but I've heard that llamas aren't very friendly. Really? Have oh. you heard about llamas spitting at people before? No. Actually, I think I heard camels do that, but maybe llamas do it too. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, so um, what about other animals? What other animals do you like at the zoo? I really like the zebras because zebras are black and white with stripes. So they're, the zebra stripes are really cool. And zebras are similar to horses. So sometimes I think I could ride a zebra if I had one. Yeah, that would be cool. Zebras do look pretty cool. Uh, are there any other animals? Well, there's one animal that I'm afraid of, and that's a bear. Yeah, bears are pretty scary. Bears are really scary, and they're so big with huge teeth and giant claws, and I feel like a bear would eat me if I met it in person. <laughs> Actually, have you seen a bear in the wild? No, I have never seen a bear in the wild, and I really don't want to. Oh, wow. In California, uh, sometimes you can see bears in the wild, small black bears. And actually, the black bears are not that dangerous. Really? Yeah, I mean, you need to be careful when you see a black bear in the wild, but they almost never attack anybody. So the one animal you must be afraid of, though, is the mountain lion. So there are mountain lions also in California, and they are scary. Mm, so maybe I should avoid mountain lions, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, if you walk in the wild and you see a mountain lion, maybe it's too late. You're already in trouble. Maybe I'll just keep going to the zoo. <laughs>
Really? A goat? Yeah, goats are fantastic. Goats love people. They really, really love people. And they're very social. And goats follow people. So when you are little on the farm and when you walk around, the goats become your friend. So when I was little, I would walk and I had friendly goats that would follow me everywhere. And they were great. And they're very curious. Mm -hmm. They like to see what you're doing. And uh, yeah, and they like to be petted. So you know how like you pet a dog, you pet a cat. Goats also like for you to pet them. They're very, very social. And it's interesting because goats and sheep are kind of similar, but really they're very different. So goats are very social. Goats are very friendly. And sheep are very shy. And sheep don't like people at all. So sheep stay away from people. And goats always get close to people. Mm, sounds like a goat is a good pet to have. Goats are the best. They are so friendly. And goats are cool because goats talk to you. So they like to make a sound, you know, like, bah, they bah, or whatever. They make a sound. Uh -huh. And uh, when you walk around as a young boy or young girl, the goats are great. They follow you, and you feel like the goat is talking to you, which is cool. That sounds really fun. Now I wish I had some goats. <laughs> yeah, you got to. The only other animal we had... Um, we also had cows, oh. and cows are cool. Some cows are friendly. Most cows are shy. Uh, but cows, you know, they always come to you because they think they will get food. But mm. if they see you have no food, then cows stay away. So cows, like sheep, are a little afraid of people. Oh. But pigs and goats love people, and they're very social. Oh, it sounds really cool growing up on a farm. It was, it was. I was lucky. Hey, Todd, where do you live? I live on the east side of town. Oh, do you like it there? I do. I live in an older house, but it's a big house, and it's really relaxing. It's a nice place to live. Wow, sounds nice. How many rooms does it have? My house is pretty big. It's four rooms. Mm -hmm. um, it has a big sleeping room. Um, it's a Japanese house, so it's not really a bedroom because you sleep on the floor. Oh. But it also has a living room. It has like an office room, mm -hmm. and it has a kitchen. Is it a big kitchen? No, it's a pretty small kitchen, and it's a very old kitchen. I have a small stove. So it's very difficult to cook. Um, but, you know, I have a refrigerator. I have a microwave. Um, I have a nice kitchen table to eat at. So it's a, it's a pretty decent kitchen. Hmm, that sounds okay. What about your living room? What do you have in the living room? My living room, it's pretty cool for a guy because it's a good place to watch sports. I have a really big TV and I have cable TV, so I get all the football channels. Nice. And I have a really big sofa, so I can sit on my sofa and watch sports and drink beer. It's great. Sounds relaxing. Very relaxing. Well, do you also have a nice bathroom? I do. I actually have three bathrooms. Oh, really? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so in English, you know, we say bathroom, but... I have two rooms that are for the toilet, mm. and I have one room uh, or bathroom with the toilet for the guests, and then I have a bathroom that I use, and then also I have a natural hot spring bath outside my house, so if I want to take a shower or bathe, I use that room. Wow, I'd love to have a hot spring at my house. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh. It's very, very nice. Does your house also have a yard? It kind of has a yard. So outside my house, there's an area for flowers mm -hmm. and bushes. And it's like a yard or a garden around the house. But it's not a place you can play sports. There's no grass or anything. So it's a very, very small yard. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's a nice place. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a nice place to live. It is a nice place to live. I'm very, very lucky. You said you have a sleeping room, not a bedroom. What does that mean? Yeah, I live in a Japanese-style house, so it's called the tatami room. Oh. And you sleep in the tatami room, and you sleep on the floor on a futon. So I don't have a bed. So it's not a bedroom. Um, it's a room that you sit in during the day, and you can eat and talk with guests. But it's also a room that you sleep in at night. So, yeah, I call it my sleeping room. But I think in Japan, they just call it the tatami room. Uh, is it comfortable sleeping on the floor? 
yeah, it's really comfortable. Now I love it. So before I slept on a bed, uh, but now I sleep on the futon on the floor and I really like it. Actually, I prefer to sleep on the futon on the floor. Mm. Well, it sounds like your house is really comfortable. It is. It is. I never want to leave. So, Meg, do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in an apartment near the train station. Oh, you live downtown. I do. Ah, do you like living downtown? I do like living downtown because it's so convenient. Everything is close by. Grocery stores, the mall, the station. Oh, that's great. So yeah. what about your apartment? Do you have a nice apartment? It's a nice apartment, but it's really small. Oh, yeah? How many rooms? Well, there are three rooms, but each room is pretty small. Mm -hmm. There's a bedroom, a sitting room, like a living room, and the kitchen room. Oh, wow. So in your bedroom, like, do you have like a big queen-size bed, a small bed? I have a small twin-size bed or a single bed in the bedroom because it's pretty small, so there's not much space for a big bed. All right. So do you have a TV in your bedroom? No, actually, I don't own a TV at all. Really? So there's no TV in the living room, too? There's no TV anywhere in the apartment. Wow. What do you do in your house? Uh, I have a laptop computer, so usually I can watch some TV shows or videos on my laptop. Oh, right. Okay. Do you like to like watch movies in bed? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I like to watch movies in bed, or sometimes I prefer to sit in the living room and watch movies. Right. So you must have high-speed internet. I do, yes. I have an internet box that my laptop can connect to. Okay, cool. Do you have a nice big sofa? Uh, I have two small sofas, so you can push them together to make one big sofa, or you can keep them separate. Usually I keep them separate because there's more room for people to sit on. Okay. Now you like to cook, so you must have a nice kitchen. Mm, unfortunately, I have a very tiny kitchen. Oh no. There's... How do you cook? <laughs> I I have to use some extra tables to have more space. The counter is really small, so there's not much space. So I have an extra table I use for preparing the food. Okay. Do you have an oven? I have a very small toaster oven, so it's not really an oven. All uh, right. Mm -hmm. So do you have a microwave? I do have a microwave and a small refrigerator and one burner, like a stovetop burner. Okay. Do you cook every night? I don't cook every night. Sometimes I'm too busy, and sometimes because my kitchen is so small, I get a little frustrated. So I just pick up some food from a restaurant. Oh, right. Now, you live in an apartment. So how many floors does your apartment building have? The building has five floors, and I live on the fifth floor. Nice. Fifth yeah. floor. Yeah, the view is nice, but unfortunately there's no elevator. So you always oh, have no. to take the stairs. Wow, five flights of stairs. Five flights of stairs every day, but it's good exercise. So you're on the fifth floor. Do you have a balcony? I have a small balcony where my washing machine is, and I can also hang up my laundry out there. Oh, cool. Washing mm. machine's outside. It is outside. It's a little different from my house in America. Oh, so from your view, what can you see? I can see the train station from one window and uh, all the restaurants downtown. And from a different window, I can see the mountains. Oh, nice. Yeah, the mountains are nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. Hey, Todd. I know you've traveled a lot. What countries have you lived in? I've lived in three countries. Um, I've traveled to many, many countries, but I've actually lived in three. I lived in England for one year. Mm -hmm. I lived in Thailand for four years. And I have lived in Japan for 15 years. Wow. So when you lived in England, why did you live there? It was the first country I traveled to after college. And I had a work permit, a work visa for one year. And I worked at a pub restaurant, which was great. It was in the countryside. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. And then I did that for six months. Um, I lived near Cambridge. So I was near Cambridge University. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I moved to London. And again, I worked at a restaurant. And I lived in London and just worked. 
Wow. So it was after college. How old were you? I was 23 years old. Oh, and living in London, that must have been fun. It was fun. And interestingly, when I went to England, I could not speak English. So I could not understand British people. Uh, it took me maybe two months before I could understand their English. So it was very, very difficult to understand British people when I first moved there. Ah, so you liked it. I did like England. It was fun. It was my first country.、Um, but the weather was cold for me.、Uh -huh. So I'm from California,、right. and California in the United States is very warm. So I didn't like the weather, but that's okay because all British people don't like the weather too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody complains about the weather.、Uh, so, after England, did you move someplace warmer? I did.、Uh, right after England, I moved to Thailand, and I lived in Thailand for over four years. Wow. Why did you live in Thailand?、Uh, I was traveling, and in Thailand, I had no money, and I needed a job, and I wanted to stay in Thailand, so I became an English teacher. Really? Yeah. Did you teach English there for four years? I did. So I went there and I began teaching English. Then I got a teaching、uh, course certificate to teach English in Thailand, and I really enjoyed it. The Thai students were really fun. And Thailand is a great place to live because the weather is really nice,、mm -hmm. the people are really friendly, and the food is delicious. It has the best food in the world, I think. I've also heard that Thailand is beautiful. Is it true? It is. It has many, many beautiful islands, and it has、uh, lots of beautiful places with nature in the mountains. It has jungles, it has beautiful beaches, so it's a nice place to live.、Mm, so you liked Thailand too? I did. Thailand was great, yeah.、Mm, so, England, Thailand, you said next was Japan? Yeah, so next was Japan,、um, and Japan's nice. I am a teacher, an English teacher in Japan, and I love teaching English in Japan. Like Thailand, the food is really, really good, the people are nice, the scenery is really beautiful. So, Japan is really nice. Are there fun things to do in Japan? Yes, actually. I like Japan the most because you get everything. You get lots of beautiful nature.、Mm -hmm. So you can go hiking, you can go see beautiful beaches, you can go to really nice islands. But also, Japan has many, many nice cities. So、um, you can go to Tokyo, Osaka, Fukuoka, and the cities have lots to do. There's good shopping, great restaurants.、Um, it's easy to travel in Japan by train and bus. So it's really nice. Wow, that sounds like the best of both worlds. Yeah, it is. Definitely a good place to live. Meg, we are talking about traveling and visiting other countries. What countries have you traveled to? Ah, I've been to quite a few different countries.、Uh, for example, Spain, Belize, and Indonesia. Wow, three different continents. Yeah, pretty far apart. Wow, that's cool. So, Spain. That must be a really nice country.、Mm. What did you think of Spain? Spain is really beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful nature and also some nice cities. While I was there, I lived in a small city called Caceres. Oh, nice. Are the people really friendly in Spain?、Uh, yes, actually. The people are very friendly and very helpful, especially if you're lost. Oh, that's great. I hear Spanish food is really, really good. Mmm, Spanish food is delicious. I lived with a Spanish family, and my Spanish mom cooked delicious meals every day for lunch. In Spain, seafood is really popular, so I ate a lot of fish and shrimp. Oh, I love fish and shrimp. Mmm, me too.、Mm. Now, Spain is really warm, right? Yes, Spain was very hot while I was there during the summer. Oh, yeah? How hot? How hot does it get? It got up past 40 degrees Celsius during the summer. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty hot. Does it rain? It does rain, but when I was there in the summer, it didn't rain very often. So, what about Belize? Belize is a really small country. Belize is very small, but it's also hot, similar to Spain in the summer. Why did you go to Belize? I went to Belize on a study trip for school, and I stayed there for about two weeks. Okay. 
Now, does Belize have good food? Belize also has good food. There was a family that cooked for us, and we had a lot of delicious, um, almost Mexican-type food. Oh, really? So, for example, what do you eat? Like, what do people eat in Belize? Mm, people eat, it's kind of like a taco, but flat uh, with a tortilla and some meat and vegetables on top and some spices that make it really delicious. So the last country is Indonesia. When did you go to Indonesia? I actually went to Indonesia just last year. Oh, whoa. How hmm. long did you stay? I only stayed there for about a week. Oh, yeah. Oh, short trip. Yeah, it was a short trip, but I was just visiting some friends there. Where did you go? I went to Jakarta and Bali. Oh, okay. So I hear Bali has really beautiful beaches. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. There are a lot of famous and beautiful beaches in Bali. Oh, did you surf in Bali? I've never surfed before. Usually when I went to the beach, I just wanted to put my feet in the water. Oh, yeah. Now, Bali also has a very famous scenery on the inside, like the rice fields. Did you see the rice fields of Bali? No, I didn't see the rice fields, but I did go to some famous historical spots. So, of the three countries, Spain, Belize, and Indonesia, what country was your favorite? Mm, maybe Spain was my favorite because I love learning language and it was really nice to stay with my Spanish family. Yeah, I could see that. I really want to go to Spain and I hope to go soon. Mm, I hope you can go too. It's beautiful. So, John, do you like to play golf? Well, no, I don't play golf very much. But I play disc golf. Disc golf? What's that? Well, some people call it frisbee golf. Basically, there are courses at parks. It's similar to golf, but the courses are much smaller. You use frisbees or flying discs, and you have to throw it. So it's different from golf. You're not aiming for a small hole, but actually you need to throw the frisbee into a basket. Oh, that sounds fun. Is it very easy? Well, it can be easy or it can be very difficult. It depends on the course. Many different parks have different disc golf courses. And you can be a easy beginner or you can be an expert. It all depends on how much you want to get involved. I see. My friends and I, we're beginners, so we just like to have fun. So we just do the easy courses and have a good time. I ah. think it's relaxing. So you only need one frisbee? Well, actually, it's better to have two or three. You can play with one, but in fact, when you learn more about disc golf, there are different sizes and weights of the discs. Why would you want a different size disc? Well, it's similar to the clubs in golf. When you throw your first throw, you want it to go very far, so mm -hmm. you should use a heavier disc. But when you're near the basket, you should make a short throw, so you want a lightweight disc. I see. That's interesting. Yeah, so as I said, when you want to become an expert, you have to spend more money to get better equipment. It's like any sport, I guess. In fact, they have disc golf competitions now. So you can even participate in a tournament and win some prize money. Did you ever compete? Oh, no. I'm just a beginner. I don't think I want to be too serious about it. So golf has 18 holes. How about disc golf? Does it have 18 holes too? Well, not usually. Golf courses are very large, but disc golf courses are usually found in parks. So they usually have only six holes, but you can play 18 holes by doing all six three times each. I see. How do you keep score? Scorekeeping is like real golf. 
So the winner should have the lowest score. Every time you throw a frisbee or a flying disc, you have to mark one point. Mm. So if you can do a hole in one, that means you can hit the basket on your first try. Then you'll only have one point. That's best. Mm -hmm. But I'm not that good at it. So usually I have three or four points for each course. I see. You said disc golf is at the park. Do you have little kids playing in the middle of the course? Sometimes the kids, of course, they can play wherever they want. And the courses do go through the park where kids play. So we have to be very careful. And we have to use good sportsmanship to wait for the course to be clear. Mm. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is fun. Maybe you can join us next time. That sounds great. Thank you. So, Sarah, I see you eat soup every day at work. Why are you eating soup every day? That's because I love to cook soup. So you, you make the soup? Yes, it's very easy to make. So you cook it, and then you just bring it to work every day? Yeah, I just make a lot on Monday, and then I bring it to work every day of the week. Oh, nice. So how do you make the soup? What's your, your secret? Well, I like to cook very easy, so I buy meat that's already cut up, usually chicken, and then some rice, usually brown rice. And then I buy some vegetables. So after I bought the ingredients, I chop them up. And I put them all together in water until it boils and add some seasoning. Okay. So you say the water boils. So as soon as the water boils, that's when you put in all the ingredients? Yes, that's right. So you don't put in the ingredients before the water boils? No. I guess it's just easier for the water to be hot because then the vegetables and the meat cook a little faster. So how do you give the soup flavoring? Um, I usually add salt and pepper, maybe some garlic, and depending on the type of soup, either maybe some soy sauce or lemon juice. Okay. Do you put in the flavoring after you put in the ingredients or before you put in the ingredients? Um, maybe after, but usually right about all at the same time. Okay. So I just put everything in at one time. And then after you cook the soup, do you put the soup in the refrigerator? Do you let it sit outside? I usually eat some right then. <laughs> and I also put it in containers for the week. But I let it sit in the containers out on the counter for a while for it to cool okay. before I put it in the refrigerator. All right. And so you don't put it in the refrigerator until it is cool? Until it's about room temperature. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then how do you heat it up? Do you heat it up in a pot or do you heat it up in the microwave? In the microwave. It's the easiest. Yeah. Nice. So you make enough for five meals? Uh, maybe. Sometimes. Um, if I think I will get tired of eating it during the week, then maybe I'll just make enough for three or four meals. But if it's some kind that I think is really delicious and I know I'll want to eat it every day, then I'll make a lot. Well, if that happens, when you make the soup, you can make it for six or seven and give me a bowl. Okay. I'll do that next time. Oh, great. Thanks. Hi, Todd. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, not bad. So I heard you were from San Francisco. That's right. Yeah, I was born there, and I lived in the city for many years. Cool. What is the most interesting thing about your city? Well, San Francisco has many interesting things, but the most interesting thing is probably the architecture. There's lots of very unique buildings, um, and the most unique building is probably the Transamerica building. It's a building like a pyramid, and it's nice. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. What is the most expensive area in San Francisco? Well, it is very, very expensive. Um, the most expensive area is a place called Pacific Heights, and it's on the highest hill in San Francisco, and it overlooks the bay. It's a really, really beautiful place. Mm. That, that area, by far, has the best views of the city. Mm. 
what is the most beautiful place in San Francisco? Mm, well, actually, the most beautiful place is outside the city. It's a place called Muir Woods, and it has the tallest trees in the world. And some of these trees are really old. They're the oldest trees in North America. Some of them are over 2,000 years old. Wow. Sounds like some place I would like to see. So it sounds really expensive. Where's the cheapest place to live? The cheapest place to live is a place called Sunset. And Sunset is on the uh, west side. And the houses are kind of old and they're a little bit cheap. But one thing about Sunset is it has the nicest view of the ocean. And you could watch the sunset every night. That's why it's called the Sunset Area. If I wanted to go there, when is the best time to visit? Ooh, the best time is probably in the fall because that's when the weather is the nicest. It's not too cold and it's not too hot and it doesn't rain that much. So when would be the worst time to visit? The worst time to visit would be probably February and March um, because February and March are the coldest and wettest months. So, well, March isn't that cold, but sometimes it's wet. So it rains a lot. Wow, that sounds really great. I want to go there. Yeah, you should. It's a great place. Hey, Shirley. You're from Australia, right? Yeah, that's right. From down under. Okay. Are you from Sydney? No, I'm not from Sydney. Actually, I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne? Mm-hmm. Okay. So are there any nice parks in Melbourne? Well, you know, Josh, Melbourne is a great city. And one of the reasons is because there are lots of parks. There's a really big park right in the center of the city. Is it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's called the Botanical Gardens. And they have plants from many different places around the world. And there's a lake, a small lake in the center. But what I really love about that park is at one time of the year, they have lots of big fruit bats that fly into the park and they hang upside down from the trees. They're really huge, like big sacks. It's very cool. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. So is there good shopping in your city? Oh, there's great shopping in Melbourne. You know, Melbourne has people from many different countries, so we have a great variety of things and clothing, cars, coffee shops, foods from many different countries. So it's a great place to shop. Wonderful. What about housing? Is there cheap housing or is it really expensive? Well, it's not cheap. But it's not as expensive as Sydney. Sydney oh. is the biggest city in Australia. It's very expensive to live. But in Melbourne, hmm, the housing is so-so. How do you get around in Melbourne? Do you take the bus? You can take the bus. But Melbourne has something very special that no other city in Australia has. We have a tram system. I think they're called trolley cars in America, maybe. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Well, Melbourne has a really big tram system. So you can go lots of places in the city by tram. It's really good fun. What about the tram? Is it expensive? Uh, not so expensive. Cheaper than the bus. Maybe about the same as the train. Cheaper than a car. Hmm, probably one of the cheapest ways to travel in the city. What about schools in Melbourne? Is there a big university? Melbourne has three or four really big universities. And some smaller universities too. Also, they have some very good private high schools and some very good public high schools. Great. That sounds like a great place to go to school. It's a pretty great place to live. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Josh. 
So how was your weekend? Hmm, quite busy this weekend. Really? Those are hard. Yeah. So what did you do on Saturday? Well, Saturday morning, I usually clean the house. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of boring, but I have to clean the bathroom and then the kitchen and then the lounge room because I have lots of cats. Okay. And the cats leave hair everywhere. So I always have to clean on Saturday mornings. Yes, cats are messy. Yeah. So after you cleaned, what did you do? Well, in the afternoon, I went for a walk up the mountain. It was a beautiful sunny day. There were no clouds in the sky. Wow. It was gorgeous. So I walked up the mountain and I saw a ferret. A ferret? Yeah. Wow. They're a little, little furry animal, four legs, tail, uh... Not like a rabbit, but about the same size as a rabbit. Okay. And they're kind of gold brown color. Wow. Did you see any other animals on your walk? Mmm, no. Okay. I didn't see any other animals on the ground, but I did see a beautiful bird flying in the sky. Wow. Do yes. you know what kind? I think it was an ibis. It's a big bird that usually walks in the water. It has long legs and it was white with a black head. Great. So after your walk, did you do anything else? Um, I went home and then I watched some TV. Okay. That was about it for my Saturday. Okay. What did you do on Sunday? Hmm... Sunday, I went to the art museum. Really? Yeah. Great. I really like to go and see new art, pictures or paintings or photographs or sometimes sculptures. Okay. So who's your favorite artist? Mm, I don't really have a favorite artist, but I really like watercolors. So okay. pictures that are painted with just soft, a kind of soft painting style. Do you like paintings of nature? I do like paintings of nature. I especially like paintings of flowers and animals. Okay. And places that have water, like lakes or rivers or the sea. Oh, that sounds like you had a great weekend. Yeah, it was good. Thanks. Okay. So, Anna, you're from Portugal, right? Yeah, right. Okay, because um, I'm actually thinking of going to visit uh, Europe this summer, and I thought Portugal would be a great place to visit. Oh, yeah, Portugal is great, especially in the summer. Um, it will be really warm, and um, you can go to lots of places in Portugal. Um, you can go to the north, where we have a lot of mountains, and um, you can do all kinds of activities like archery and horse riding. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Well, actually, I was thinking of going to the beach. Can you, can you give me some advice for what's the best time of year to go when perhaps there are not too many tourists around? Oh, yeah. If you want to avoid tourists, you should definitely not come in August. Um, August is really crowded and there are just so many people in the south of Portugal. Uh, you can try to come in June. Uh, June right. is already warm, but there are not too many people. So it will be easier for you to find accommodation. There are some really nice hotels and hostels around. <laughs> so um, what kind of place were you thinking of staying in? Well, actually... I don't really mind too much. Um, I'd, I think I'd like to see what it's like to, f maybe for, 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 for normal people in Portugal, what it would be like to go on holiday and, and have an authentic Portuguese experience. So maybe, maybe I, I don't really want to stay in a big international hotel. What, what, what's a typical Portuguese place to stay in that's nice for a summer holiday. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, in that case, you should definitely avoid the big hotels or any mm -hmm. hostels. There are some 
um, apartments that you can rent. So you can just live in an apartment by the beach. All right. And um, yeah, they're just in a normal building with other Portuguese people, but you can rent it and stay there. And it's really close to the beach. It's like a one minute walk. So really? it will be really convenient for you. And is this, this is by the Atlantic Ocean? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, that that's, uh, sounds like a very good idea, staying at an apartment. Um, how much should I budget for that? Mm, I am not really sure. Um, it will probably be a bit more expensive mm -hmm. than a hotel, really? but mm, not in the long term. You can pay about 30 euros per night, I think. Wow, that's For cheap. a nice location, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you come with friends, though, you can also rent a villa, we have some villas also by the beach. Does it have a swimming pool? It does have a swimming wow. pool and they have plenty of room. So if you want to come with a big group, that's definitely a better option. That sounds like a great idea. I can invite my colleagues along. So do you have any final tips for me um, for my holiday in Portugal? Well, I mean, if you want to stay in the south, in the Algarve, then I definitely recommend you check out the nightlife. Um, it can be really lively and there are night markets and um, where you can buy lots of souvenirs and people just hang around. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, and wh what was the name again? The Algarve? The Algarve, yeah. That's the southern part of Portugal, Ooh. so you can't miss it. Got to remember that. Thank you very much. So, Ana, you're from Portugal. Uh, what, can you tell me a little bit about your country? Yeah, sure. Um, Portugal is a really small country, actually. It's uh, right by Spain in Europe, and we have really nice weather there. It's really sunny most of the year and uh, really hot in summer. Mm -hmm. um, it can get really cold and really rainy in winter. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a really nice country to live in. And I've heard you have nice beaches in Portugal. Yes, we do. Um, I used to go to the beach every day um, with my family in the summer. It was really great. But the beaches can get really crowded, um, lots of people. So you might want to be a bit careful when you choose where to go. All right, I see. And um, where do you live in Portugal? I live in a small village, actually. You probably don't know it. It's called Palmela, but it's, it's south of Lisbon and it's by the coast. So it's really nice. We get a nice view of the mountains and of the river. So I really enjoy living there. It's, it's really quiet, uh, not a lot of people, a lot mm -hmm. of wine farms, actually, and really nice food. You Ooh, should come and visit sometime. I like wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so you have, you have a good wine in Portugal. What, what sort of food do you eat in Portugal? Um, let's see. We we get a lot of fish because um, mm -hmm. we're by the sea, and um, so codfish is a traditional, and sardines Ooh, and I like mackerel. Sardines. Yeah, um, it's really good. And we also have um, really good desserts. So, for example, uh, coffee cake, yogurt cake. Um, we've got um, pastel de nata, which is kind of a egg tart thing. So I really recommend you try that with our coffee when you go there. All right. And um, and you speak Portuguese as your first language? Yes, I do. I speak Portuguese. It's a, it's not the same as Brazilian Portuguese, but it's really close and we can understand each other. So that's All really right. great. And can you, can you understand Spanish as well? Yeah, I can understand a little bit of Spanish, but um, there are some differences between Portuguese and Spanish, so... How do you say, how do you say hello in Portuguese? Oh, you can say hola. Hola. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. You should learn some Portuguese. Oh, I'd love to. Hi, I'm Mari. I'm here with Ron. Ron is from Hawaii. So, Ron, what's so special about Hawaii? Well, Hawaii is my home. But to people not from Hawaii, I think Hawaii is famous for its nice weather. It's uh, warm all year round. Also, it's known for its beaches. The beaches are very nice. And it's also known for its warm hospitality. The people are also very nice. So can you tell me more about the weather? It's always sunny. It never rains. It does rain. But often, it rains and is sunny at the same time, so we have a lot of rainbows. So Hawaii is also famous for rainbows. That's nice. Um, can you tell me more about the beach? 
we have beaches on all shores of the island, of all our islands. So there's many beaches to choose from. And often, some, some beaches have big waves, some beaches have small waves, and you can choose which beach to go to depending on whether you want to surf in big waves or you want to swim where there's no waves. Can you tell me maybe about the nature in Hawaii? We have forests. So there's lots of animals like birds and small animals like um, wallabies. We have Hawaiian wallabies and um, they live in the forest. What's a wallaby? Wallabies, um, they're those little um, mammals. They came from Australia and they were introduced to Hawaii and now they're wild in Hawaii and they've become their own species. What do they look like? They look like little kangaroos, I, I think. Hmm, interesting. Uh, any other interesti interesting animals in Hawaii? We have a lot of pigs, wild pigs. We like to go hunting for them, and we like to eat them. Are there any animals that live in the sea? There, we have nice coral reefs. So there's lots of beautiful fish in our coral reefs, and many people like to go snorkeling to look at our reefs. We also have turtles and um, seals in Hawaii. Are there any w whales? We do have whales during the months of March until f February, I believe. They come from Alaska. And they come to Hawaii during those months, and then they return to Alaska. Wow, there are a lot of animals that live in Hawaii. Sounds like a great place to visit. Hi, I'm Mari. I'm here with my friend Ron. Today we're talking about food. So, Ron, what's your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine has to be Hawaiian food. I grew up eating Hawaiian food, so every special occasion we had Hawaiian food. So now when I eat Hawaiian food, it always brings back good memories. Uh, what exactly is Hawaiian food? Traditional Hawaiian food is usually cooked under the ground in a hole with hot rocks. And it cooks for maybe six hours or seven hours. And when you take it out, it's very salty because we use a lot of salt and it tastes really good. Usually meat, usually pork and other vegetables like taro and potato. So then what's your favorite Hawaiian dish? My favorite Hawaiian dish is called lao lao. It's pork or fish wrapped in leaves and put inside the underground oven. And it's very salty and very good. So the flavor is just salt? The flavor is salt and with the, also the leaf flavor that it's wrapped in. Uh, what's your favorite dessert or junk food? My favorite dessert has to be cake and ice cream together. I love to eat cake and ice cream together. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry, and I eat and I like to eat that with chocolate cake. Mm, sounds good. Um, do you like vegetables? Not so much. I don't like to eat vegetables, but I can eat them if somebody cooks them for me. What's your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable? I don't have a favorite vegetable, but I can eat vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, carrots, those types of things. Do you eat your vegetables raw, like salad, or do you prefer them cooked? I prefer them cooked. Thanks, Ron. Welcome. So, after Laos, where did you go? After Laos, I flew to Vietnam. And actually, I took the bus into Vietnam. Okay. Yes. And in Vietnam, I traveled from the north, 
from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City. But because my time was so short, I could only spend one or two days in each city. Ah, what city did you like the most? I think I prefer Hanoi the most. The food, the street food is amazing. It's a very lively city, lots of motorcycles and traffic. So it, it's reminded me of Nigeria, where I was born a little bit. Oh, cool. Yes. And what did you do in Vietnam? I spent time in Hanoi. I also went to visit Sapa, which has a lot of rice terraces. So these are mountains where they've planted rice fields. So the scenery, the view is really beautiful. And you also get to meet the native peoples, the local peoples there. So I enjoyed it. And then from there, I went to Hoi An, which is a very historical city. Very beautiful um, night scenery by the river. And then I went to Ho Chi Minh City, but I could only spend one night there before leaving for Myanmar. Okay. And then how was Myanmar? What did you do there? Myanmar was my last stop and I didn't have so much time there but I managed to go but I managed to visit some of the places I really wanted to see like Yangon, Bagan and Mandalay. Man I would say that Bagan was the highlight. They had many temples from the past and just seeing that many of them it was very impressive oh that's fantastic yes so what country was your favorite it's hard to say they each have their own good points but i think i would definitely like to visit thailand again <laughs> okay Thailand, such a great place. Anyway, thanks, Abidemi. Thank you, Todd. Abidemi, what did you do for summer break? For summer break, I went to visit some countries in Asia. Ooh, what countries? I visited Thailand, Laos, Vietnam and Myanmar. Oh, great. What did you do in each country? In Thailand, I was there for about a week. I ate a lot of delicious food and I met many nice people. I love Thailand, so I hope to return again. What foods did you eat? I don't remember the names, but I just remember that they were all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thai food is so good. Yes. Um, did you go anywhere in Thailand, like the beach or the forest? I was more interested in nature. So I traveled from Bangkok to Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. And I went trekking and rode elephants. So that was one of the highlights of my trips. Oh, nice. How long was the trek? The trek was about a day. It was a trek for two, three hours. But then we also stayed overnight in a community in the hills. And then the next day we trekked for a little bit to come back to the city. Nice. So was Thailand the first stop? Yes, it was my first stop. It was supposed to be the shortest stop but I loved it so much that I spent more time there after Thailand where did you go from Thailand I moved on by land to Laos and what did you do in Laos in Laos I mainly was in the northern part of the country 
and I went zip line. line. Ooh, fun. It was fun. So, so zip lining is going flying from tree to tree. That's correct. So that was about two days worth of uh, zip lining. And we stayed overnight in a big tree house. Oh, how fun. It was quite nice. I really enjoyed it. Hey, Todd, can I ask you a favor? Sure, anytime. Um, I really need a place to stay. Uh-huh. And I heard that your house is on Airbnb. It is on Airbnb. I do rent my house, but for you, it's free. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Can I course. stay there then? You can. How long? Maybe a week or two weeks. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, from next Monday. Yeah, actually, you can do that. That that works. Excellent. Thank you so much. How about ah, uh, how about a car? Can I park my car? Ah, uh, that's a problem. You can't park your car because there's no space. But <sighs> there is a cheap parking lot about maybe two blocks away. Okay. So it's only a couple dollars a day. Okay. I guess I can park my car there. How about cooking there? Can I cook? Of course, yeah, you can cook. I have a stove, a refrigerator. You can bring your own food. You can do whatever you want. Excellent, thank you. Can I use the internet? You can use the internet. Um, there's a password. I will write down the password before I leave, and um, I will write down the password before you get there. Excellent, thank you so much. I was thinking about asking my friend if he can stay. Could my friend stay over? Yeah, sure. So your friend can stay. Um, not a problem, I don't think. He has a dog. Can he bring his dog? Ooh, that is a problem. Uh, does the dog have a cage? Um, no, but we can get a cage. Mm, I'm not sure about the dog. If the dog is in a cage, it's okay in the house. But I think, yeah, you can't have the dog in the house. Okay. How about smoking? Mm -hmm. My friend is a very heavy smoker. Can he smoke outside? Yeah, he can smoke outside. Just please pick up cigarette butts. But, of course, he can't smoke inside. Okay, he can't smoke inside? No. Okay. How about if we want to have a party? Can we have a party? Yeah, you can have a party. That's okay. But please be quiet. Don't be too loud. Um, the neighbors live very close to my house. All right, that sounds good. Thanks. And I have one more question. Uh-huh. Can I use the washing machine? Yeah, of course. You can use anything. You can use the washing machine. Um, you can use the internet. You can use the TV. You can use anything you like. Wow, excellent. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, um, I will write down directions for my house, and I will send you a map. And you can check it out and get all the information. And just, um, I will leave the key for you with my neighbor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. So, Meg, are you busy this weekend? Yes, I'm so busy because I'm moving. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. What do you have to do? First, I have to prepare my apartment, so I need to pack all of my things. That's not fun. No, it takes a long time. Do you need help? Yeah. Do you have time to help me? I can help you on Sunday. Oh, are you busy on Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday I have to work. Uh -huh. I have to teach two classes. And then after I teach, I have to grade papers. Uh, it sounds like you're really busy, too. Yeah. Plus, I have to meet my friends that evening. Oh. What I, will you do with your friends? I'm helping my friend also. My friend has car problems. So I have to take him to the mechanic. Uh, but so on Sunday, I can help you. 
Okay, that would be great because on Sunday I have to take some trash to the dump and I have to finish some paperwork at City Hall to prepare for moving to a new country. Oh, now because you're moving, do you have to go to the post office? I do have to go to the post office. I almost forgot. At the post office, I have to submit a form to say my new address. Ah, that's good because I have to go to the post office too. Oh, really? I have to send my mom's birthday gift to her. When is your mom's birthday? It was one month ago. Ah, so you have to send it quickly. Yes, I have to get on it. Okay, well, let's go together. So I'll see you... Sunday, what time should I be here? I have to go to City Hall by 3 p.m., so can you come at 2? Okay, but if you want to go to the dump, the dump closes at noon, so we have to leave earlier. Ah, uh, okay. Can you come at 11? Yes. Okay, so I will see you at 11 o'clock. Great. See you then. Bye. Bye. Okay, Katie. Yeah. Let's take an international test. Oh, okay. How international are you? Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, first, have you ever eaten Greek food? Greek food. Uh, I've eaten, how do you say it, fafalo? Oh, is that Greek? I think so. Okay. I've had that, but apart from that, I've never eaten Greek food. Okay. Have how you, about you? Have you, uh, I think I have. Well, I've. I've eaten Greek yogurt. Does that, that count? That counts. That counts. That counts. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever eaten Russian food? Mm, what's Russian food? I think like Russian food, like is it borscht? Borscht is like a soup, a cabbage soup. Mm, I've I've never eaten Russian food. Yeah, maybe I haven't eaten Russian food either. Mm. Mm. Okay. Last one. Have you ever eaten Vietnamese food? Ah, uh, I I see it written down. It's is it full? Pho, the noodles? Yeah, I've eaten pho before. Yeah, I've been to Vietnam, so I've eaten Vietnamese food a lot. And pho, the noodles, is really good. It's, yeah, it's delicious. I've had that too. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about languages. Oh, okay. Have you ever studied French? I have. I've studied French for five years. Ooh, can you still speak French? Nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah, me too. I... <laughs> I once studied French years ago, but I haven't spoken French in so long. Mm. I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything either. Yeah. Have you ever studied an Asian language? Um, I've studied Japanese. Ooh, okay. I can still speak it a little bit now. And I studied a little bit of Korean, but I don't speak Korean. Oh, really? Mm. Okay. Wow. Like, I've studied uh, Thai. Okay. Because I lived in Thailand for five years. And like you, I've studied Japanese, but my Japanese is terrible. How about your Thai? My Thai is okay. Uh, it's okay. I can talk a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so have you ever met a Spanish person? A Spanish person? Actually, I don't think I have. Really? I don't think I have met a Spanish person. Oh, interesting. I've been to Spain, so... I've met a few, and we have a Spanish teacher at my school. Oh, maybe I have met a Spanish person then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe okay. I've met a secret Spanish person. Okay, have you met a Chinese person? Oh, yes. I've met lots of Chinese people. Okay. And have you met a Brazilian person? I feel like if I say no, then I have. Probably. I've probably met a Brazilian person. Yeah, I've met a few people from Brazil, so they're always very nice, mm. very friendly people. Mm. Hey, Todd. Are you healthy? Do you eat lots of fruits and vegetables? I guess I am healthy. I do eat lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, but I also eat junk food, sadly. But I try to eat lots of fruits, especially mm -hmm. to stay healthy. What kind of fruits do you like to eat? Well, I like all fruits. I love all fruits except pineapple. Mm -hmm. I hate pineapple. 
I don't know why. I just don't like pineapple. I don't like the taste. I don't like to chew it. It just feels funny. Uh, but I love apples. I love bananas. I love oranges. I usually have an apple every morning for breakfast. It's very easy to eat. And I just love apples because you can take them to school. You can eat them quickly. They're very easy to eat. Uh, I also like oranges. And I love orange juice. So sometimes I make fresh orange juice in my mm -hmm. kitchen. So oranges are great. But my favorite fruits are bananas and strawberries. I love bananas and strawberries. And I love to eat bananas and strawberries together. So my favorite snack is to cut up some banana and then cut up some strawberry and mix them together and then eat them. Well, it sounds like you really like a lot of fruits. Oh, yeah, I do. What about vegetables? Do you eat vegetables every day? I do. I try to have a salad every day, and I have a special salad I make, and I call it my uh, chunky, crunchy salad. And it's carrots, cucumbers, and tomatoes, and mm. I cut the carrots and cucumbers into small little squares, and then I cut up the tomatoes, and I mix them together. And the carrots, tomatoes, and cucumbers mixed together. The colors are really pretty. And when you eat the salad, it's very crunchy, and it's very chunky because it's all little squares. So I call it my crunchy, chunky salad. Oh, that sounds delicious. Do you ever share it with someone else? No, I don't, but I want to because I really I like it so much. And I can't cook. So when I go to somebody's house and I need to bring food, I think, oh, I should bring chunky, crunchy salad. Mm, that's a good idea. Another idea is to cook some vegetables. Do you cook vegetables? Not too much. I do cook asparagus. Asparagus is probably my favorite vegetable. And it's very easy to cook because asparagus you just have to cut up into small pieces and then you can put the asparagus in a bowl with some water in the microwave. And you can cook asparagus in about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I eat asparagus a lot. Also, I eat broccoli. I love broccoli. Sometimes I have broccoli and lettuce together for my salad. And then sometimes I cook eggplant. I like to cook eggplant because I like the taste and it's easy to cook. Mm, I don't really like eggplant. Really? I don't. <laughs> oh, no. Why not? Mm. It has a strange flavor to me, so I prefer not to eat eggplant. Well, as long as you eat your veggies. Mm. Yes. 